the Steam Squad with another tutorial on Alice 3. Today we're going to learn about input devices. We're going to show you how to manipulate objects in your game using your keyboard. Now we have an example here. We have Bob the alien and Bob is moving around. Now what you cannot see is that I'm pressing the arrow keys to move Bob around. So today we're going to show you how to do that. Now before we do that, I do need to erase all of this and start from scratch so I can show you all the steps that are involved to make this happen. Okay, so I'll be right back. So we're back to our blank screen and we're going to start by bringing Bob into the scene. Now we've done this before, but I thought I'd show it again. You would go to set up scene, this button here, click here, and then down here is all of your different um, classes. You may have it um, start with this, um, but Bob is in the biped class and then all you have to do is click and hold um, the character that you would like to bring in click and hold and then drag it into the scene alright and then they're gonna ask you to give it a name we're gonna call it Bob there he is okay so we're gonna click OK and there's Bob we miss him how you doing alright so what we're going to do is for for this particular uh, program I'd like to have Bob start facing away from us so we're going to use something called a one shot so if you look under the name you see this is Bob you'll see something called one shot one shot is um, when you want to have your character do something but it's not officially in the program you just want it to do one time um, that's why it's called a one shot so if you click that you'll see the procedures and all those kind of things procedures are all the different programming that you saw earlier um, but this is only one time so I'm going to go down to turn turn left or right it doesn't matter um, but I'm going to do the 0.5 which is equal to 180 degrees now Bob is turned all the way around this is not in the program so um, it uh, basically this is where Bob will start in the program so once we've done that we're going to click edit code to go back into the main scene so we're starting with our scene with Bob facing away from us because we used the one shot and now we're going to control Bob using the arrow keys now for the most part we've been working with the my first method tab if you look at the top you'll see that we have three tabs up there and uh, my first method is where we've been working mostly we're now actually going to go into the initialize event listener if you can see it is right next to the scene tab you're going to click that and the event listener is basically a way that the computer waits for you to uh, do something whether it's move a joystick or press a keyboard or maybe two objects um, collide with each other and they do something when they collide um, but listener is a, another way of, of the computer saying it's waiting for you to do something so we're going to add an event listener um, and this event listener is going to look for when you press the arrow keys and then do something after you press those arrow keys so we're going to add an event listener and there are different types we're going to use the keyboard type and then in the keyboard type there's different types there's numbers and just key press we're going to use the arrow key press listener so click that and then you get a new function this function is going to be how we control Bob in this scene now when you're creating your game you want to think about how you want to control your objects um, try to think about how your your um, game um, gamers are going to interact with the scene and how you want them to interact with the scene for this particular situation we're going to have Bob move forward when we press the up key move backwards when we press the back key and then turn left and right when you press the left and right arrow keys so that's how I'm going to do it but you can use your own imagination on how you want to control your objects okay so the other thing that we are going to add in there is an if statement an if statement is a very cool function that basically says if you do something then it'll do the procedure under it if it does not do that it's going to skip it or do something else so that's what an if function is and you're going to see those a lot if you're programming because if statements are very very important in programming so we're going to use one right now and if you look at the bottom of the screen you'll see a lot of different little boxes here um, do in order count while for each if all of these are things that you're going to use when you're programming but today we're going to use the if statement so here it is if let's 
I'm going to drag it into the place where it says drop statement here, here, and then the condition. So it's looking to see if the if if you're waiting for the condition to be true or false. So we're going to say that when the condition is true. All right. And at this point, we're going to talk about the arrow key presses. So if you see just in your little function, you'll see event move direction, event turn direction, event get key, and um, event and get key with a whole bunch of question marks on it. Okay, so we're going to use the one that says event key with the question marks on it. And we're going to drag that to the true statement over here. You'll notice that it makes a little window around where it thinks you need you want it to go. That'll tell you that you're doing the right thing. So we're going to drop it in there. And then it's going to give you some options here. And I'm going to use the arrow keys. Now you'll notice that you have letters and numbers and things like that. Um, you can use those if you'd like. We're going to use arrow keys today. We're going to use the up arrow. And we're basically saying if the up, car uh, up arrow is pressed, we're going to do what? Move forward. So now we're going to go into the procedures section and we're going to tell Bob, the alien, to move. And we're going to put him in just under the if statement, okay? And we're going to have him move forward. And the amount is up to you. I'm going to say one for this particular situation. And basically we're saying if the up arrow is pressed, Bob is going to move forward. Now there's an else statement on there. We're not going to use it right now, but hopefully we'll talk a little bit about um, else and how that is important because it is. But for this particular situation, we're going to have Bob move forward when he press the up arrow. So we're going to test that. I'm going to press run and I'm going to press the up arrow and see if it moves forward. There we go. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to press the back button. Back button's not going to do anything because we haven't put it in the program yet. So I'm going to X out of this. All right, now we're going to put another if statement in there. Now this if statement is for the back button. So if, now I will say this, you do have to place it above the, um, the, the first if statement, not below. It won't let you do that for some reason. So what you want to do is look for that green line to go all the way across the, the board. Not halfway, not a little bit. You want to go all the way across, all right? So drop it there. I'm going to say true. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the event key. And we're going to use the arrow key to go down. And in that, we're going to have it move. We're going to have Bob the alien move. This Bob. I think I did something wrong here. Let me try it again. We all make mistakes sometimes. It's okay. Happy accidents, right? So we're gonna do that again. Move Bob for some reason. Position. Oh, you know what? I know what I did wrong. Move Bob. There we go. And we move backwards. One. All right. So this one is saying basically if I press the back key, it's gonna go backwards. Let's test it out. So now I'm pressing move forward. It's moving forward. Moving back, moving back. All right, so that's working. Like I said, you should always try your programs once every time you add something new just to make sure everything's working. Again, that's that's the way I do it. I suggest that you should try to do that as well. I'm gonna put another if statement in there. I'm gonna say true. And now we're gonna say the left and right arrows. So we're gonna put the event key in there. Key. We're going to have the left one first. And this one, instead of the move function, we're going to use the turn. So we're going to turn, put that just under the if statement, and we're going to have it turn left. And we're going to do um, 0.25, which is a quarter, which is 90 degrees. All right. I believe that's going to work, but we're going to test it anyway. Forward, back, and then turn. There we go. All right, that's good. Okay, so let's, all we have to do is add one more, and I think we're almost done here. So we're going to add another if statement. If statement, put it all the way up in the top. There you go. If it's true, we're going to add an event key. And then we are going to use the right arrow. And wh what do you think we're going to do, guys? I'm waiting for you. Waiting for you to tell me the answer. Of course, we're going to turn Bob 
right one quarter which is what 90 degrees I hear you I heard you say that okay so we do that and let's go and test this out so if I press forward move forward that's back move back and he turns left turns right and then if you press the left and right keys up and down you can even look at you so it's moving around and this who this is so cool all right so you guys you've just made your first game where you've made an alien move aren't you so proud of yourself I'm very proud of you so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop here okay so I want you guys to practice this make things move in your scene put some things in the scene and make it move around in the scene and we're going to um, come up with some really cool things for your next class okay so um, we got you guys are great I hope you guys keep steaming this is the engineer with the steam squad hoping you have a great day take care bye bye Say goodbye to him before you say, okay, there you go. He's saying goodbye. Goodbye.